Sailor, then listen to me. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. And it's crazy. Remain the village of the Rock is over there, Captain. The wrong course to hit rock, sir. That's the rise of the tops. Let the anchor go. So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel, the manuscript... Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir, I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kasegawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. Stockpile powder and shot here. Bless him. Look at him. Oh. Pry, but would you happen to know if Kesigawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the Assassins. May Lady Luck be with you, then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army, or part of it anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Kesegawase. Segawase has allies in every tribe that sided with the French, as well as many others. Trappers, hunters, scouts. We'll need all the help we can muster.
What's in the cave? Stay alert, men. Don't give him the satisfaction of slipping away! Fight that again! <laughs> Do I get into that? You find them all! As long as we hold the old woman hostage, these Oneida will not help the English.
stop you! The hour rings for your death! <laughs> Blessings of me. Venerable one. My name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I... I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me, Venerable One. It is you who honor us, Shea Patrick Cormac. Farewell.
Subway! Crowded all on! Loose topsails, gallants and royals! Those all but made! to beat the regiment's uh. record!
one victory is a victory. It was a bloody battle, but we have six. Say what you will about... How fare ye? What, pray, is the nature of your pursuit? Excellent, my thanks. What do you be needing today then? A bit of business, that.
Let's go! Come on, spread those sheets! Spread our wings to the wind! Full sails! And the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the colonel can hold it. You heard the captain, lads! Make haste! Get the maids free! This is Kasegawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Kasegawase. Truly believe you can best me, traitor. Burn! Get away! I mean it. Yeah. You truly believe you can best me, traitor. You're on fire. Templar dog. Dog! Ready to open fire! 
Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Burn! Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Templar dog! Trained you well, traitor! Isigawase. It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam... Uh, uh, uh. Was chasing the colonel. I have him in Go. my sights. The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam, I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand? 
I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Sheikh Cormac. Shea has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. <sighs> I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Come on, you've come a long way, but you're not done yet. Get to the servers. Don't lose your momentum, numbskull. Get to the next server. Don't 
You want to know what happens next? Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandale's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agathe out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar Order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. François Macandal saved Baptiste. Just saying that Violet didn't have to yell at us for not fixing the elevator before she did. Shit! What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. She's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. <laughs> Swine. You should not have left your backwater colony! Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family.
Thank you, Shane. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. Keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you've seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or... Lisbon. Or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Louisburg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Oh, well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. 
And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business. Alas, the harpoons! As we were fishing off Hayes for all night, when the wind blows, we'll all pull together. He's over there! Fire down! Here we go! We're heading for ice! We've lost them! See anything yet? Race! Watch in, love and bell! What's out? Oh, he's angry, all right! Brace, everyone! I see him off the starboard bell! Tie her down! They'll tie her out soon enough! He's turning the sea red! Success! Success! I'm I'm sure he's free, sir. Stay sharp, man! Tie her down! We go! Hold up! Ice! Yeah. Ha! He's turned into sea red! Watch out! Ice! Uh. Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in... Gist, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is enough. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also... ...became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. 
If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. the harpoons as we were fishing off Hayes for all night when the wind blows we'll all pull together he's over there secure the rope oh tight that That's it! Steady! Steady. Down. Off we go! <laughs> ah! Yes! He snapped the line! Yeah. 
side to the thrasher, slashing his tail. Time now, old skipper, to hoist up your sail in the wind. Fire! Fire! Sheets tight! Hurry! Lose a trip too! Yeah. Unfurl, maids! Let's move! We should reinforce the Morrigan with these supplies, Shay. 
Mates out. Let's go. Secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. He wears a pair of long sea boots. He's a bulldog in the backboard line. And it's the way you send it, my dear Annie. Oh, you do young girls can't you dance the poker. He's on way pound this evening, and with me he will stay. So get a move on, sailor boy, get cracking on. There she is! The HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it if they launch this attack. Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen. The Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Royal Studs! Take 
Pause with your sense. Ah! Enemy ahead! They're hit! Damn it! We cannot Move. let any through. It They're is imperative we stop those Let's ships, Captain. The Already outcome of the war is not. Make good use of your own mortar ship. will prove crucial if we are to succeed. Kenway is correct, Captain. Mortars would prove most advantageous right now. Barton yourselves! They're firing mortars! Barton yourselves! Damage report! What's the news? Grace yourselves! Give us a point, sir! Fire our forces, Captain! Fire! 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 Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. Adewale. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Ready, 
Captain! We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! More enemy ships, sir! And more fire ships! This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. War and wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Mortars, Shay. Back off! We should blow us out of the water! I need damage here! Brace yourself! Brace yourself! Ready to fire! Fire! Captain! Mortars! We'll show them who rules the way! Brace for impact! Keep out of yourself. their heavy shot range! I believe Master Kenway is correct, Captain. But it's most advantageous right now. Get out of range! Fire! We've been hit! Fire! Brace for impact! Fire! Brace yourself! Blow us out of the water! We should fire our mortars, Captain! Ready those mortars, Shay.
There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gis. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. Wardrobe too, though the man could not hold it.
It's the captain's ship!